The word soulmate is not necessarily a biblically complimented term, but the Bible does have a lot to say about your soul and who you pick. The word soul in the Greek is psyche. It's where we get the word psychology from. So your soul is your psychological and emotional part of you that houses your mind, your will, your emotions, and your feelings. And mate means to summon fruitfulness. Think of agriculture. I'm bringing my livestock during mating season to summon them to be fruitful. So when you're saying, how do I identify my soulmate? What you're really saying is, I want somebody who summons fruitfulness versus someone who contributes to me being barren. For you to even be attracted to fruit production requires spiritual maturity. Like this is for grown folk. In fact, this is why I think a lot of people can't identify healthy people and healthy souls. We're spiritually underage. We still like eye candy versus soul food. I'm talking about the fruit of character, the, the fruit of honesty, the fruit of loyalty, not just to my face because loyalty should not require my presence. See, when God sends somebody in your life, it's always for the purpose of helping you to be fruitful and to multiply. When the enemy sends somebody, it's always to contribute to you being barren. And having this soul intelligence will assist us with being able to identify sticks from branches. Branches are connected to the vine, so they're fruitful. But sticks are disconnected, which is why they're barren.